despite the damp weather, people are already <laughs> claiming their spots for tomorrow night's fireworks. Michelle Fiore, live at the lakefront, and Michelle, we see tents behind you already. You do, Mike and Carol. Call them crazy, and they might even agree with you. As you can tell, this fall-like weather hasn't deterred fireworks fans from getting out here early, more than a day early, to stake out the best viewing spots. Cassandra Peterson and her fiancé have roped off a large lot well ahead of the U.S. Bank fireworks. Uh, we got here about 10 o'clock this morning, and it, it was raining. <laughs> But we're troopers. Kalinda Faust also got caught up in this fall like weather, but she's sticking it out for the kids. <laughs> what do you think about the fireworks? Nice. Yeah. Okay. And pretty. We've been doing this about 15 years. Um, just takes a lot of practice. We started with pop up tents, and now we've gotten pretty far. And she's learned a few tricks along the way, like what time to start setting up. This year, to see the July 3rd fireworks, the Faust family arrived at 10 a.m. July 1st. Rope off everything and like tie tarps around us and just still have our fun. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna stay out here regardless if it's bad weather, good weather. Yes. You're in for the long haul. Oh yeah, every year. Last year was just as bad. <laughs> Faust and Peterson are among a large group who make lakefront camping a July 2nd tradition. And luckily, every single year, we're always right here. And you know what tends to happen when the crowds leave? You see what they left behind. Milwaukee County Parks plans to hand out garbage bags along Lagoon Road, hopefully so that people will pack it all up and not leave anything here. Reporting live along the lakefront, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Yeah, we have to keep Milwaukee clean and beautiful, even if we have thousands of people down for the fireworks. Thank you, Michelle.